All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And man, today we are making a video that I think I've been literally waiting my entire YouTube career to finally make. I mean, that's actually kind of insane to think about. In terms of Grand Theft Auto V, that game was first announced all the way back in fall of 2011, okay? I created my YouTube channel in April of 2012, which means as long as I've been doing YouTube, I'm a YouTube veteran now, as long as I've been doing YouTube, there has not been a new Grand Theft Auto title to be announced. So I have literally been waiting forever to make this video for you guys today. This is definitely one of the more ceremonial ones, but uh, this is not clickbait, by the way, uh, but Rockstar Games slash Sam Hauser, really, uh, has finally come out and has given us the tweet we've all been been waiting for for 10 years at least and they announced that coinciding with you know rockstar's pretty big anniversary that's coming up this year they will be giving us a look at the next grand theft auto title so we're gonna get right into this here i'm not gonna wait here and fuck around with you guys Next year marks the 25th anniversary of Rockstar Games. Thanks to the incredible support of our players worldwide, we've had the opportunity to create games we are truly passionate about. Without you, none of this would be possible, and we are so grateful to all of you for sharing this journey with us. In 1998, Rockstar Games was founded on the idea that video games could come to be as essential to culture as any other form of entertainment, and we hope that we have created games you love in our efforts to be a part of that evolution. We are very excited to let you know Know that in early December we will release the first trailer for the next Grand Theft Auto man reading it again it just doesn't seem real we look forward to many more years of sharing these experiences with all of you Thank you, Sam Hauser. Now, Sam Hauser is one of the Hauser brothers who has been just completely fundamental to not only really Rockstar Games' success, but obviously Grand Theft Auto as well. And like I just said, man, it, it doesn't even feel real rereading this, bro. Like, I mean, I, I've been such a huge Grand Theft Auto fan my literally my entire life. I mean, if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you may have heard this story, whether it had been in my GTA 3 video or, you know, whatever milestone that I may have accomplished in that time period. I've told this story time and time again, man. One of my first video games of all time, all the way back in the early 2000s, when I was pretty much a toddler, okay? I was like actually, what, maybe two and a half, three years old, something like that. I started playing video games uh, with Madden 2003 and Grand Theft Auto 3 on the PlayStation 2 with my dad. And those are some of like, in my early childhood, playing like San Andreas and Vice City with him and GTA 3. Like, those are some of the earliest core memories that I have. And it's a huge part of the reason why in the first place, I'm even interested in video games. And obviously my interest in video games to a large extent is why I have this YouTube channel. So Grand Theft Auto in a way has literally shaped the outcome of my life by being a fan of it and by, you know, experimenting with other games and just really getting into the entire hobby as a kid in a large part due to Grand Theft Auto. And I mean, as a kid, I didn't even like go around doing crazy things in the game, right? Like I would just try to do like the little taxi missions and drive around. And my dad would troll me, right? He would like take the car and he'd like run somebody over or something and get me wanted. And like the police would come, that shit would piss me off, man. I would start freaking out, you know? But anyway, like, I mean, those memories have been so huge for me. And it's kind of crazy to think, right? There are kids alive right now. There might even be kids watching this video that they were conceived, born, learned how to talk, started playing video games, and beat Grand Theft Auto V before they even showed us a trailer to the next Grand Theft Auto. That's how long it's actually been, man. I mean, it's just been such a long time coming, finally getting this announcement, bro. It's almost bittersweet in a way, right? Because like I said, I've been waiting to make this video for so long. I've thought about this particular video probably at least once every year for the last like six to seven years. I mean, just that that's how long the gaming community really has been waiting for this announcement, right? Because I mean, it, it became a pretty popular meme, right? Like it's gotten to the point with all the like hype and the constant, you know, controversy about, oh, when are they finally going to announce it? and all the conspiracy theories online. I mean, everybody's just been waiting on this for so long. And that's because, let's be real here, Grand Theft Auto is such a fundamental and massive piece of the gaming industry. I mean, not even just because it's Grand Theft Auto, but because of how much it's also, to an extent, helped shape the future of all these other properties that Rockstar has. I mean, let's be real, the Red Dead series in its state that it's in never would have been possible if Grand Theft Auto 3 did not step forward and reshape the entire idea around open world RPG games. 
the way that Rockstar perfected their style of games and to a certain extent influenced the entirety of the whole gaming industry from games like GTA 3, Vice City, San Andreas, GTA 4, right? Like every single time one of these games drops, that it's like a monumental moment in gaming history. And have having had that happen my whole life, like having had these experiences, it's really awesome to see, because this is the first time like Grand Theft Auto is going to be coming out when I'm an adult, dude. Like Grand Theft Auto 3 came out, I was in junior high school, bro. Like I was in middle school, essentially, bro. Like I still had gym class and fucking recess and I had, you know, lunch and math class and science tests, bro. That's when this fucking game came out, man. And I'm a full grown man now paying taxes hating the federal government, right? Like, just, you know, being an adult. And it's kind of just nuts now that we're finally getting a new one. And of course, now that this is all out the bag, we already knew it was coming, but now that we know the trailer is on its way within a couple of weeks, let's be real here, right? What should we expect? That's kind of what I've been thinking about all morning as I keep kind of thinking about the announcement, right? Like, what what can we really expect with GTA 6? Because I feel like, truthfully, like, I'm not trying to meet Ride Rockstar or anything here, but they have a pretty good reputation of, like, when they put out a new fucking title in whatever series they're working on, man, it is a improvement. Like, it, there is a lot of improvement. It, they've, in my opinion, not really failed in a lot of ways when it comes to that. I mean, I don't really count the GTA Definitive Edition as being, like, a new Grand Theft Auto title since they essentially just ported fucking mobile games or whatever from 20 years ago that's not really a new title to me but i mean you think of like a red dead redemption 2 or a grand theft auto 5 or as many people won't give the game as much credit as it deserved bully i fucking love that game we need bully too but that's the thing like rockstar they always somehow manage to exceed my expectations even though they've always had these like massive colossal expectations to begin with they they're just so good at what they do man and obviously uh technology is quite different than it was when gta 5 was being worked on and came out i mean you gotta think that game originally released on the xbox Xbox 360 and the PS3, and we're like halfway through the life cycles of the PS5 and whatnot, right? Like, right now. So, I mean, it's kind of crazy how far, you know, technology in general has improved. I mean, even on the PC end of things, right? Graphics cards and CPUs are exponentially better now than they were back then. You, you look at a game like Red Dead Redemption 2, and that came out in 2018, how actually incredible that game looked. And even today, it still holds up so good, right? How good is GTA 6 really going to look? What what kind of missions are we going to be taking a look at, right? We already saw some of the leaks, obviously. There was some gameplay video uh, footage leaked and whatnot in that entire thing too but i mean that is a game that's in early development and sure i'm certain that some of the things that we saw in the footage and that we found out in the leaks will probably also make it to the final product too but also there's been years upon years of progress by this company in terms of what they're doing with the project i have to assume that what we've already seen is not necessarily how the game is going to look or play and even if it did i mean i didn't think it looked horrible it definitely needed polished and whatnot but i mean hey it was definitely functional and that's the thing too right and that's what obviously like i hate to even j maybe jinx this or even put this out there right but like this isn't gonna be a miss hopefully right and i, I like i said i don't want to jinx it i don't want to you know be negative for no reason but it just it, it seems like one of those things man where the expectations are they actually achievable or surpassable because i mean let's be real grand theft auto 6 at this point is probably the most anticipated video game release of all time grand theft auto 5 is the most you know, highest grossing, highest revenue earning piece of entertainment ever created. There's no movie, no song, no album, no book, no floppy disk with a software, anything on it, right? That has generated more revenue than Grand Theft Auto V. That game is the cheat code of money, okay? And it's the cheat code of getting people to continue playing. I mean, look at my ass, right? I was on GTA Online day one when the servers weren't working and everything in the game cost like $30,000. And even today, in 2023, you know, it seems like we're more or less living in a fucking South Park episode every day in real life but Grand Theft Auto 5 is still one of the top selling games every single year and whatnot right so the anticipation and the expectations have definitely gotten to a point where I mean it's going to be hard to fulfill I, there's no doubt about it Grand Theft Auto 6 or whatever the next Grand Theft Auto name will be obviously it's probably gonna be Grand Theft Auto 6 but this game is now pretty much by 
everyone in the gaming community expected to be one of the greatest video games of all time. And that's not just like, oh, we really hope that maybe one day we could do that. That's the baseline expectation. That is like meeting bare minimum, is that it's like one of the best video games of all time. If it's anything less than that, people are going to call the game a flop. It's going to get shit on. Critics are going to shit on it. And I obviously, Rockstar Games doesn't need some fucking idiot on YouTube to tell them that, right? They don't need me to sit here and lecture them about how important this release is to them. But I mean, it's one of those things where like, I really hope that the expectations and like the pressure didn't fuck up the product overall, right? Because I mean, you can definitely see how if expectations get as high as they have, how it would be very easy to not be able to meet those expectations. But just given the track record that Rockstar has, I mean, you gotta think back, like, to GTA V when it released. I mean, Grand Theft Auto IV, even today, a lot of people consider to be one of the greatest video games of all time. It has, like, a 98 average score out of 100 on Metacritic, right? It's a phenomenal title, and I mean, this is also on top of the fact that Grand Theft Auto III is widely attributed with helping popularize open-world games and helping push them to a new benchmark. Many gaming fans who grew up and played video games in the 2000s will widely consider Grand Theft Auto San Andreas to be one of their favorite video games. And even Grand Theft Auto Vice City, as underrated as I think that that is, and that realistically that map-slash-world of Vice City is in general, it still is also widely considered one of the best games of its era by a lot of people. So I mean, Rockstar has pretty much always dealt with quite high expectations, even with like Red Dead 2, right? There was a lot of expectations and they hit a lot of it on the head. They did fail when it came to like the multiplayer and online mode, but in terms of the game itself, it's definitely worth $70. Even if there isn't really viable fun multiplayer, you could buy Red Dead 2 and get your 70 bucks out of it, right? So that's the thing I feel like, man. GTA 6 is going to be one of those games, right, where this is like a make or break game in a lot of ways. This will either be one of the definitive titles of the 2020s, or it will be widely considered one of the biggest failures in gaming history. And that's basically because for the last 10 years, as Grand Theft Auto V has continued to kind of cook on the stove or whatever, they've just been sitting this pot of sauce that's GTA 6 on the back burner, Letting that motherfucker marinate, right? So, for a decade now, everyone who loves Grand Theft Auto has just been waiting for this fucking thing. So, at this point, it's like GTA 6 and the next Elder Scrolls are like the two most anticipated games, I feel like. And at least we're getting the next Grand Theft Auto before they even fucking reveal anything else about the next Elder, uh, Elder Scrolls. I almost said Elden Ring. Elder Scrolls. I might be like 42 with... Oh, wait, I'm gonna break the troll on Twitter. I'll probably be 65 with seven children by the time that, you know, the next Elden... Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna stop talking, man. All right, I'm just flopping the video at this point. Anyway, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubtheOptimist. Make sure to check out Shoptimist down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimist subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus finally announcing that Rockstar Games will be showing us a new Grand Theft Auto and signing out.